Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, students. How are you? Hello, teacher. It's a pleasure to see you once again. Welcome to your class number two. I am very happy to be with you again. How was your day? Was it good, bad, so-so, tiring, difficult, amazing? How was your day? So, so entitled. <laughs> so, so entitled, yeah, I imagine. And the rest of you, how was your day? Mr. Maximo, Maritza. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Luis, good evening. I have a, a day very hard in the work. A very hard day at work. Why? Yes. You had a lot of work to do. Because uh, I, 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 I are moving tarimas. I was moving objects, you say. I was moving objects. I, I, have, I am moving. I was moving. I was moving. Objects. Objects. Object. Yes, I was moving objects. Very okay. good. Excellent. So for the rest of you, how was your day today? Let's listen to Rosario. Rosario, how was your day? Good, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. Este, um, good, 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 este, no, good. It was good. Este, co, no sé cómo se dice, paper, creo que se dice papel. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Resmas de paper eh, en la máquina compaginadora. Oh, so you were, you were uh, creating packages of paper. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Very yes. nice. So where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Eh, en una imprenta. Oh, that's eh, why. Se, hace, se hacen libros de obras, de leyes, eh, calendario, tarjetas de presentación. Oh, okay. Este, so, um, sobres. So that, that's a lot of work, right? Like, to put all the paper together yes. and everything. Yes, okay. Yes. Interesting. Thank you, Rosario. Well, for all the rest of you, welcome. Welcome, uh, well, Cynthia, welcome, Elizabeth, Gabriela, Maximo, Tirsa, Ulises, Maritza, William, Mr. Luis, and Miss Rosario. It's a pleasure to have you here. Remember to have your cameras on all the time because that it's part of the agreements of our class. Yesterday, we were talking about what? What were we talking about yesterday? De que hablamos ayer? Uh, transportation. Aha, uh -huh. transportation. What else? The bus. Aha, uh -huh. the bus. Examples taxi. of transportation: the bus, the taxi, the, the motorcycle. Family. The motorcycle. Good. The airplane. Right. Drive, drive yeah. to drive the car. Very good. What else? We talk about our favorite things. Our favorite things, exactly like that. We were talking about our favorite things, our favorite color, animal, hobby, food. food. Very good, excellent. So we were talking about our likes and dislikes. Good. We were talking about transportation and we were talking about, what else? Do you remember? What was the final topic? The member family. The, fa the family members, right? We were talking about the family members. Fantastic. We were talking about the family members. Do you remember some of the names of the family members that we were studying yesterday? 
what are some of the names of the family members that we studied yesterday? Mother. Uh huh. Father. Yes. Grandfather. Very good. Grandmother. Yes. Cousin. Cousin. Very good. Uncle. 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 Good. Wife. Wife. Very good. Aunt. Aunt. Very nice. Aunt. And something else? Uh -huh. Sister. Sister, daughter, good, very good. Right, we were talking about the different Just, members. Husband. Husband, right? Husband. Husband. The husband. We were talking about the husband as well. Very good job. So yesterday I asked you to create a little example of the people who um well the, the ones that belong to your family, right? And we were going to create it like in my family, there is um, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, and me, for example, right? Did you create your paragraph? Hicieron su parrafito ahí con la información? Ooh, no me digan que el perro se comió la tarea. Ay, teacher, lo dejé aquí, se me la comió un gecko. Ah, come on. Okay, so if we didn't do it, we are going to do it right now. We Teacher, are... yo no pude por el trabajo. Ay, 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 ay. So right now in the afternoon, as soon as you come home. Well, so we are going to do it right now. We are going to create an example. I am going to share it here. I am going to share my screen where, where, for all of you, right? And uh, we're going to go over what we were doing yesterday, right? the members of the family. Let me see. I am going to go here. Let me check. Okay. So as soon as I, okay, I'm going to start sharing and we're going to create an example. So start thinking <clears throat> about the different members that you have in your family and the ones that you are going to include in your paragraph. And you are going to say, in my family, there are like one, two, three, four members, right? My mother, my father, my sister, and me. So that can be a good example of what you are going to mention with your family. Let me see. I am going to open my, let me open everything here. And, I think I have it right here. Okay, so if not, I am going to create another example. Let me share my, my desktop. So, and we're going to create this little paragraph in a very, very quick way, describing the members or the people who belong to your family. Here, I am going to make an example for you let me know if you can see my screen. Okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. I Fant see. Fantastic. So here we are going to we are going to create a little example of the paragraph that you are going to do. Here you are going to say, in my family, you can say there are how many members? You have to count the members. You say, in my family, there are three members. You are going to change according to the information that you have. In my family, there are three members. And you are going to list the members, right? In this case, I am going to say, my husband, my kid, and my dog, right? Right? I have three members uh, apart from me, right? In my family, there are three members, my husband, my kid, and my dog. So if I include myself, there are going to be four. My kid, my dog, and me. Or you can say, and I. Or you can say, and me, or you can say, <coughs> and I. Right? So this is the information that I need from each of you. In my family, there are, and you tell me the number of the members, 
and you tell me what type of members do you have in your family, okay? Write it now on your notebook, and when you have it ready, you can read it for me. Go ahead. Once you have it ready on your notebook, you can read it for me. Okay, right now everybody writes that on you on the notebook, okay? This is my example. Este es mi ejemplo. Ustedes van a crear el de ustedes. ¿Cuáles miembros tienen en su familia y cuántos son? Teacher, lo vamos a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. No, no, no. Right now on your notebook. Ahorita en el cuaderno y después lo vamos a leer para todos. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok, right now Thanks. on the notebook. Yes. Right now you are going to do it on the notebook. I ready. Okay, go ahead. Can you read it, please? I ready. Excellent. Can you read it, please? Yes, okay, okay, okay. In okay. my family, there are three members. Yes. My wife, my kid, and I. Okay. My wife, my kid, and I. Very good job. Thank you, Luis. Who is next? I. Go ahead. In my family, in my home, mm -hmm. there are three, three mem members. Yes. My mother. Mm -hmm. Cat and me. Hey, three members, right? My mother, my cat, and me. That's it. Very good job. Thank you, Elizabeth. Who's next? Hello. Hello. Go ahead. In my family, there are six members. Uh -huh. My daughter, my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, and me. Very good job. Six members, right? You have the biggest family right now. <laughs> Who's, <Yes>. next? <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Go ahead, Heidi. And in my family, remember um, my mother, my sister, and my kid. Okay, my mother, my sister, and my kid. Only three members. Very good job. In my family, there are three members, right? Very good job. Thank you, Heidi. Who's next? Who is the next one? Tirsa. Okay, Tirsa, go ahead. And then Arvin. In my family, three are. There are. They are eight members. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> my father, two sister, uh -huh. and two four cats. Uh -huh. four cats. <laughs> Four dogs. Oh my god, you have four cats, four dogs. Ajá, sí, sí, pero eh, son bastantes animalitos. They are. <laughs> that, that's okay. I love animals, so that's that's perfect, right? Yes, yes. That's yes. that's good. And they are part of the family, definitely. Thank you, Tirsa. What a big and beautiful yes. family. Very good job. Arvin, Arvin, go ahead. In my family, there are four members. My wife, my dog, my cat, and I. <laughs> okay, very good job, four members. Excellent. Thank you, Arvin. Who's next? Mr. Maximo, go ahead. I cannot listen. Hey, coach. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I can listen. I am family to your two members. My mom, my brothers, and me. Okay, my mom, my brother, and me. Remember, Ulysses. Very good job. Thank you very much. Mr. Maximo, I was listening to you. Go ahead. I think I have problems with your audio. Creo que tengo problemas con su audio. No le escucho. No sé si me activé el micrófono. Okay. 
Ahora? Yeah, I can, no, I can listen to you perfect. Go ahead. Okay. In my family, there are three members. My wife, my mom, and me. Okay. Three members. Additional, additional uh -huh. two carrots. Two parrots. See? Uh, oh, yeah. Good. Yes. And three turtles. Hey, that's fantastic. I am going to send that one on the chat. The parrot, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. The parrot, it's the oh. second one, right? Parrot, the second one. Oh. La primera me equivoqué. Okay, in the second one, parrot is perico, right? Dos perico. periquitos. Right. That's very good. Fantastic. Thank you, Maximo. Thank you very okay. much. Who's next? Okay. Next, next, next. I am missing Esmeralda and... Hi. Okay, I think I'm just missing Esmeralda. Go ahead, and Maritza. In my family, there are three three members, my mom, my father, and I. Okay, only that, right? Three members, that's very cool. Thank you very much, Esmeralda. <laughs> okay, uh, Cynthia, did you share yours? Yes. In my family, there are four members, my mom, my dad, my sister, and me. Okay, very good job. Rosario, did you share yours? In my family, there are seven members. My father, my mother, my children, my dog, my cat, and me. Seven members, good. Gabriela has the biggest family right now. <laughs> and Maritza, did you share yours? In my family, there are five members. My, my husband, husband, esposa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My husband, good. My children, my sister, and you. And okay. me. And me, you say. Very and good me. job. Excellent. Fantastic job. Very good job for everybody. Did I miss anybody? Se me quedó alguien? Se me quedó alguien o todos participamos? Todos participamos, ¿verdad? Okay. Good, yeah, I think I, I am not missing anybody. So in this case, as I was mentioning you, I was like, in my family, there are four members. Now we are not just talking about the different members. Aquí ya no estamos hablando solo de los miembros así eh, por sí solos. Aquí ya vamos creando un poquito, ya un párrafo, ya donde damos información específica acerca de lo que estamos compartiendo. Si queremos ir un poquito más allá de la información, Decimos, ¿verdad? In my family, there are four members. My husband, my kid, my dog, and I. But if I say, if I say, for example, eh, Alex is my husband, right? I give you a little bit more information. And I can also say in a different way. Lo podemos cambiar y decirlo en otra manera. You say, my husband's name is Alex, ok, aquí ya tenemos, Alex es mi esposo, el nombre de mi esposo es Alex, and we use it in two different ways, right, aquí vamos ya dándole un poquito más de forma, un poquito más de información, si queremos darle todavía otro énfasis, we can say, Alex is Natty's husband, ok, ¿qué significaría la última oración? Alex es el esposo de Nati. Exactly like this, right? Aquí ya sería el que de quien, right? When you, use, when you use this form, when you use this form of the apostrophe, you say el que de quien, right? Nati's husband. El esposo de quien? De Nati, right? El nombre de quien? Del esposo, right? So this is the form of the apostrophe. Si se fijan, este apostrophe no es un verbo to be. Este apóstrofe es un posesivo, ¿ok? Este apóstrofe es un posesivo que me va a decir de quién es lo que sigue, ¿ok? Alex is Nati's husband. Les puedo poner otro ejemplo. Here, I am going to continue here. Para que ustedes vayan agarrando más, más ejemplos porque después ustedes van a crear los propios. If I say, for example, uh, it's very curious because it's the same. Alexito is my son, okay, this is my son, and I will say, 
Alexito is Nati's son. Okay. So we have this connection, right? And I will say, Kiara is my dog. Si lo hacemos en una forma posesiva, ¿cómo cambiaríamos la última oración? Kiara is Nati's dog. Very good. Kiara is Nati's dog. Okay, and we have the form of the possessive. And if you can create, for example, one sentence using the possessive, it will be fantastic. You can say, for example, Carmen is Nati's mother. And I am talking about me and about my mother, right? Can you think of one sentence using the possessive form and the members of your family? Can you think on one sentence using the possessive form and the members of your family? I can say, for example, uh, Juanito. Juanito is Esmeralda's brother. It's just an, an example, okay? <laughs> can you think of one? Pueden pensar en un ejemplo usando el posesivo y un miembro de su familia? Owen eats Wendy's kid. Owen is Wendy's kid. That's the name of your son. Es el nombre de su hijo. Yes, yes. Okay, so fantastic. Owen is Wendy's kid. Very good job. Who's next? Another example. Hello. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Gabriela. Go ahead. For example, yes. Ok, no, creo que se me cortó un poquito. ¿Me puedes, me puedes repetir la oración? Yes. Rafael uh -huh. is Idalia's husband. Very good job. Rafael is Idalia's husband. Idalia is your mother. Yes. Very, mother. very good. Excellent example. Another example. Who can help me with another example? Go, Elizabeth. Chimuelo is my cat. Uh -huh. Chimuelo is Elizabeth's cat. Very good job, Elizabeth. Very good job. Chimuelo is Elizabeth's cat. Is he black? ¿Es negro? No. No, es. Oh, de veras está Chimuelo. No, no. <laughs> Chimuelo le puso una amiga, pero es blanco, blanco, blanco con parches grises. No muchos, pero ah. es bonito, amiga. Ok, because I thought, I thought about a movie with Chimuelo. Yes, that's, that's good. Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good example. Another example. Who can help me with another example? Maximo, go ahead. Diana is my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife's name is Diana. My wife's name is Diana. Huh? Diana yeah. is Max's wife. And Diana is Max's wife. Very good job. Excellent. Another one. Maximo, you did a very good job. Another example. Only one. Zeus is Fernando's pet. Zeus is Fernando's pet. Very good. Excellent. Me wow. coach. Go ahead. Go, Esmeralda. Rosa is my mom. Rosa is Esmeralda's mom. Rosa is Esmeralda's mom. Fantastic job. You did it very well. One more. The last one. Okay. Who is the last one? One more example. Only one. Only one. Um, me. Go ahead. Jasmine is my sister. Uh, <laughs> Jasmine is Cynthia's sister. Very good, excellent example. Very good job, class. Very good job. You did it fantastic. So this is the use of the possessives. I have some other examples here. I am going to share them with you. 
I think I have them right here. And I have here about some different members of a family. And I have Xochitl is my mother, for example, right? Xochitl is Julio's mother. In this case, we are going to talk about Julio. Julio and his family, right? Va a ser en nuestro personaje inventado de la noche. Say Julio. Julio, and it's the, like the main character. Xochitl is my mother. Xochitl is Julio's mother, right? Mario is my father. Mario is Julio's father. Alejandro is my brother. Alejandro is Julio's brother. Juanita Maria is my girlfriend. Juanita Maria is Julio's girlfriend. ¿Cuál es la siguiente oración? ¿Me ayudan todos a leerla? Alex is my uncle. Alex is my uncle. Alex is Julio's uncle. Very good. The next one. Alex. Alexito is my coach. Alex is Julio's, Julio's coach. Very good. And we have Julie. Julie, Julie is my mom. Julie is Julio's mom. And we have the grandmother, right? But hitting El Sabor, say like Mama Carmen, Mama Francisca. Rosa, we have... Mama Rosa. <laughs> yeah. Mama, Mama Julia is my right as you can see here as you can see here on the sentences the possessive it's mark right here right and we have for sure the verb to be okay siempre tenemos el uso de nuestro verbo to be después del sujeto pero esto no es un verbo to be este es el posesivo que significa que es la mamá de julio de el, julio El papá de Julio, el hermano de Julio, right? That is the use of the possessive. So here I have a little family tree and I am going to show it to you. And here I have some relationships and we have some names. What are the names of the people on the picture? Paul. Paul, good. Anne. Jason and Emily. Emily. Jason and Emily. And what is the relationship? Paul is his used band. Mm -hmm. Annie. Uh -huh. So how do we create it? Lo acabamos de estudiar. ¿Cómo haríamos esa, esa correlación de los familiares? Paul is his band's Annie. In his husband. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Paul, Paul is Anna's husband. Anna's husband. Husband, husband. Husband. Good. Husband. What is the other relationships that we create here? ¿Qué otras relaciones podríamos crear? Annie. Uh -huh. <laughs> decirla, decirla. Okay. Jason. <laughs> Is Emily's brother. Jason is Emily's brother. Good. Another one. Annie is Emily's mother. Very good job. Let me see. Mr. William Bonilla, create one relationship. Hola, hola. Okay. Um, Annie mm -hmm. is children's mother. Oh, okay. Anne, Our children's mother. Okay, Anne is the mother of the children, right? Anne is the mother okay. of the children, right? Good. But to make it specific with a possessive, you can say Anne is, uh, let me see in this case, Jason's mother, for example, just to use one person. But that's very good. And if we say Paul and Anne, ¿cómo crearíamos una oración con ellos dos? Paul and Anne. Paul Paul and Ann are, are Jason's parents. Parents. Okay. okay. Ayer lo estudiamos. Decimos parents or parents? Parents. Parents, <laughs> parents right? Very good. Parents, right? Remember. Uh, parents. Right. Parents. Very good. Paul and <laughs> Paul and Ann are Jason's Paul parents. parents. Excellent. So here I have uh, the different relationships that you are going to create, right? And I have Anne is Paul's wife, right? That's the one that we created first. Anne is Paul's wife. Jason and Emily are their 
Jason and Emily are there? Son. Son. Brother. Son. ¿Cómo decimos cuando tenemos más de un hijo? Son. Son. Children. 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 Heidi, very good. Excellent. Estrellita para Heidi. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. We're going to, to mark it here. There you go. Estrellita para Heidi. And you go like Jason. <laughs> Jason and Emily. I wanna wanna start. I wanna start, you say. This is like the little kids, right? Si le da un sticker a uno, todos quieren sticker. <laughs> Jason and Emily are their children. Good. Paul is ends. Husband. 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 Very Husband. good. Thank you, Maximo. Very good. Very good. Paul is ends husband. Jason is ends. Brother. <laughs> Son. 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 Okay, okay. Son. Ahora vamos aquí a lo. Jason. Ajá. Jason is ends. Son. Ya me la estrellita. Ya. Perdí la estrellita. Jason is ends. Son. Son. Very good. Okay. Y para, para todos, porque todos, yo sé que ustedes participan un montón. Así que para todos le vamos a dar estrellita. Hey, there you go. The next one. Emily is Paul's daughter. 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 The daughter. Remember here we have right all the different family members that we have. Daughter. Yes. Daughter. And let's continue here. I am right here. Jason is Emily's brother. Brother. Very brother. good job. Brother. Jason is Emily's brother. Emily is Jason's sister. 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 Very good job, Arvin. Estrellita para Arvin. Good job. It was like very quick. He was like, yes, I want to do it. Very good. Excellent. Paul and Anne are Jason's. Uh, parents. 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 Great. Great. Esmeralda. Very good job. Oh. Parents, right? Parents. Excellent. So I am going to ask Rosario, read number one. Uh, and is Paul wife. Very good job. Heidi, number two. Jason and Emily. Are their children. Very good. Gabriela, number three. Uh, Paul is Annie's husband. Excellent. Maritza, number four. Jackson is an Annie's? Annie's? Annie's son. Son. Very good. Esmeralda, number five. Number five. Bye. Emily. Emily is. Okay. Emily is Paul's daughter. Okay, let's see. Nelda, number six. Jackson is Emily's brother. Very good job. Tirsa, number seven. Emily is Jason's sister. And number eight, Juan Fernando. Paul and Annie are Jason's parents. Excellent job. Very good job, my dear students. So here we have the use of the possessive when we talk about the different family members, right? I have here a very short conversation that we are going to practice tonight, right? And... I am going to make it bigger for you to read it. I am going to read it first, but the first thing that we are going to do is to analyze, okay? We're going to analyze the conversation to see if we have new words or new vocabulary, okay? La vamos a analizar todos. Si ven alguna palabra que no conozcan, aunque sea común, dígame, teacher, what's the meaning of? Teacher, what's the meaning of? And you tell me the word. Right, what's the meaning of? What's the meaning of? Amazing. 
la palabra, aunque no la puedan pronunciar, eh, más o menos ahí para que yo me ubique. O si tienen ahí la, la, el lapicito en, el, en la plataforma, la pueden marcar. Ok. So, go ahead. Ahorita la analizamos toda. Uh -huh. <coughs> if you have new words, uh, you'll be covered. Nice car. Nice uh, car, Jason. Is it yours? Okay. Palabras nuevas, chicos. Tenemos palabras no. nuevas. Uh, um, what's the meaning what of? Me perdí, se me fue la señal. Downtown. Ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Downtown. 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 ¿Qué es eso? Ok. Downtown es la ciudad. Downtown. Oh. My sister works downtown, en el centro de la ciudad. Ok. Esmeralda, welcome back. Se le fue la señal a Esmeralda. Estamos okay. analizando la conversación. Si hay palabras nuevas para eh, vocabulario. Siempre que encontremos oh. vocabulario, Pongámosle en nuestro cuaderno. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Downtown. Sure, that's the meaning of uh, suburbs. Okay. The suburbs <coughs> are the places are outside the city, right? Como por ejemplo, si estamos en San Salvador, downtown sería el centro de toda esta ciudad. Pero the suburbs serían las ciudades que están en los alrededores. Okay, those are the suburbs. Okay, thank Downtown you. Downtown is El Centro. Another one. Uh, what the uh, meaning of uh, doings? Doings, algo así. Okay, let me um, see. Abajo donde dice Ashley, the train doings. Ah, doesn't. 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 Perdón. Right, you say doesn't. Que no. Right? El tren, no. Right? Doesn't. The train doesn't stop near our house. Very good. Any other question? What the meaning of near? Near. What is slow? Okay, slow. Good. I have near and slow. Near, it's very close to your house. Near. Far, woo, in San Miguel, right? Near, here, next to my house. Aquí cerquita, right near, cerca. Far, lejos. Okay, and slow, like the turtles, right? How do the turtles work? Slow. Las tortugas, ¿cómo caminan? Slow. Lento. Lento, right? That's the word, that's the meaning of slow. Listen first, and then we are going to have the opportunity to practice, okay? Listen first. The names of the characters are Ashley and Jason. And it says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, so that's the form of the conversation. Now you are going to practice after me, okay? Nice car, Jason. Nice car. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. No, it's my sister. She has a new job. She has a new job. And she drives to work. And she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. 
No. no. Downtown. 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 My parents work downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They don't drive to work. To work. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. Okay, porque esa es toda una oración, ok, no la podemos cortar. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The bus, the bus or the train. train. Como estamos dando opciones, le tenemos que dar la entonación también. ¿ves? The bus or the train? <coughs> Como cuando va a comer pupusa, revuelta o de queso? ¿De qué querés? Mm -hmm. right? The bus or the train? Good. The bus, the bus or, the train. or the train? There you go. The train doesn't stop near our house. The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. So they take the bus. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. It's really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. Y aquí le ponemos el feeling. Si, si dice usted, ay, pobrecito, ya. Yeah. No le voy a decir, oh, that's too bad, yay. No, it's not. It's not going too much. Say, oh, that's too bad. It's like at the beginning. Es como al principio. ¿Qué tenemos? Nice car, Jason. Aquí en El Salvador le pondrían al final el... Qué chido. Nice car, Jason. But you cannot say, nice car, Jason. You're not feeling it, right? Is it yours? And that's a question, right? Is it yours? Good. So I need one Ashley and one Jason. Hi, Jason. Okay. No, Juan Fernando. Dale vos, dale vos. <laughs> Juan, Fernando, Juan Fernando is Jason and Ashley. Who's going to be Ashley? Thank you, Gabriela. Very good, very good. Juan and Gabriela to the stage. Action. Nice car, Jason. Is your is yours? No, it's my sister's. Oh, it's my sister's. She has a new car. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. Thank you very much. Reactions for your friends, please. Reactions for your friends. Mándenle ahí una carita, una estrella, un corazoncito. Mándenle una reacción ahí. Thank you very much. Now, I am going to have two volunteers. Two other Yo. Okay. Hi. 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 Luis and Cynthia. Very good. Okay. Luis and Cynthia. Right. To the stage. Action. Go ahead. Okay. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's too bad. Very good job. Please, everybody in this class, practice with me. Suburbs. 
suburb. Parents. 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 Public transportation. Public, Public transportation. Transportation. Bus. 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 The bus or the train? The bus, the bus or the, bus the train? Or the train. Okay, doesn't. 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 Excellent. And the final, the final couple I am going to have will be, let me see, Ulises and, Ulises and Elizabeth. Para que diga que no la había escogido en toda la noche. Ulises and Elizabeth, go ahead. Ulises and Elizabeth to the stage. Action. ¿Quién soy yo, Andy o Jason? Jason. 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 Se nos perdió Ulises, ¿qué pasó? <risa> Den micrófono Ulises, el secreto de la eterna juventud nos está compartiendo. <risa> Mr. Ulises, Mr. Ulises. Ok, Mr. Máximo, can you help me? Mr. Maximo, can you help me with Elizabeth? Okay, okay, teacher. Go ahead. Elizabeth, <clears throat> aquí no pasó nada. One, two, three. Action. <laughs> nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is he your... Is here jobs here in the suburbs? No. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they not drive to work. They use public transportation. Transportation. Public. Public transportation. Public, public transportation. The bus. The bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our mm, our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. <laughs> Very good job, my dear students. Reactions for your friends, my class. Reactions for your friends. Very good job. Excellent. So you see, ayer ustedes, no, primer día que vengo, yo no hablo inglés, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. And you are doing it. That's great. You are doing it. You are doing that. And you are progressing. And it's your second day. Imagine everything that you are going to do in all the other days that we are missing. Okay. Thank you to my volunteers. Algo de docráticos, pero my volunteers. And I am going to stop sharing for a moment. Here in the conversation, we have different verbs and we are going to use these ones for the next information. I am going to, let me share it back. We're going to use it right here. Okay, before I move on, can you, can you identify the different verbs that we have in the conversation? Verbs, actions. Uh -huh. Drive. Drives. Good. Work. 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 Very good. Yeah. Okay, you have work, drives to work, but in this case, this one, it's not the verb. In this case, my parents work downtown. Uh huh. Yeah. I take. Take, right? Drive. Take. Let's see, where is it? They take. They take nice. the bus and use, use. My parents use, very good. They use public transportation. Do we have any other one? Has. 
She has, right? She has a new job. And let me see the bus of the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. Okay. There are some things that we can analyze from this. In this case, we have, for example, my sister drives to work, right? She has a new job. My parents work, right? They don't drive. They use. The train doesn't stop, so they take the bus. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre los verbos he, she, it y los, eh, perdón, entre los verbos que se han ocupado con los sujetos he, she, or it y los verbos que se han ocupado con los sujetos we, you, and they? Que son más, que se refieren a más gente. Exactly, right? They refer to different people. But in this case, we have she has. Right? Tenemos tercera persona. Ella, persona. exactly. Ella tiene, ella maneja. Right? But in this case, to make the third person simple, we add the letter S to the verb. Right? And this is not a plural. Okay? Si le ponemos la S al verbo, en este caso no es plural. Es la forma de la tercera persona en singular. Si decimos, my parents work, aquí no lo cambiamos porque tenemos un plural. My parents. Sería ellos, they. My parents work. They use, right? Tenemos una forma plural, they, so we don't change it. Aquí lo cambiamos porque decimos the train. The train sería it en este caso, un objeto. The train doesn't stop near our house. Para los negativos, con he, she and it, usamos doesn't. Para los negativos, con I, you, we, and they, usamos don't. They don't drive to work. Okay? So this is the main thing that I wanted you to analyze. Okay? Así, ahí me quería enfocar un poquito antes de pasar al tema final que vamos a dejar para el día de mañana. Let me just open my second presentation that I have here. And we are going to continue developing the topic. Miss. Yes. De hecho, este estaba en la plataforma hoy. Mm -hmm. Este de eso tratan los ejercicios. Exacto. Y sí, tendía a equivocarme un poco en la tercera persona. Tuve que repasar la elección del video porque me equivoqué en unas eh, cuando era de ellos. Este, realmente el, en la tercera persona es nada más que hay un cambio, ya sea en, en have, en does y en co. Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, yo me confundí. Eh, pensé que en ellos también se, eh, era la palabra go es, y no era así, era solamente go. Tuve que uh -huh. volver a repasar. Precisamente de eso se trata, se trataba ese ejercicio. Excellent, excellent. Yes, indeed. It is the form of the third person. Here I have a little example. Déjenme compartirles este ejemplo chiquitito que tengo aquí. In this chart, here we have the different forms of the simple present tense. In this case, I am going to go here. Okay, let me just move it down here. I am going to organize it better. Okay, in this case, when we have the simple present tense for the only ones that change is for he, she, and it, right? For he, she, and it. Cambia el afirmativo, okay? Para los otros, ocupamos el verbo en su forma normal. We work, you work, they work. And for the questions, you don't use do, you use does. Does he work? Does it work? Does he work? Does she work? And for the negatives, we use doesn't. He doesn't work. She doesn't work. It doesn't work. Right? This is the ones, these are the ones that we change. For the other ones, we don't change it. Right? To say, I work. I don't work. Do I work? And that's the form of the sentence. You work. You don't work. Do you work? He works. He doesn't work. Does he work? Right? She works. She doesn't work. Does she work? 
That's the form. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente? It works. ¿En negativa? It doesn't work. And for the question? Does, does, does it work? Very does good. For, it work? for we, we work. For the negative? We don't work. We don't, we don't work. work. And? Do we, do we work? work? Do we work? Do we work? Do we work? Right? In this case, you say, you work. You don't you work. work. You don't work. work. Do work. you work. work? And the last one? They work. They work. They do work. they work? They don't work. They don't work. Okay. But how Teacher, are you going una, to tell me? Uh -huh. Y en una forma positiva, ¿cómo se dijera la respuesta? I work. Yes, I do. No, I Solo don't. Así. Yes. Yes, I ¿Por do. ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso, si decimos do and does, serían preguntas de yes or no. Say, do you work? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. okay. Or if I say like, do, do they work? Yes, they do. Right? Or no, they don't. Right? We are going to check this ones a little bit uh, on detail tomorrow. So, but okay. what we're going to do right now that I wanted to explain, it's like, how do you change the verb? Recuerden que el cambio en el verbo solo pasa en la tercera persona. No lo vamos a cambiar en las otras formas de, uh, de sujeto. ¿Cómo lo cambiamos? Si el verbo que vamos a ocupar termina en cualquiera de estas letras, en su forma normal, le vamos a agregar S. ¿Ok? I watch TV. She watches TV. Guess, guesses, finish, finishes. And here, I am going to move my friend here. Go, goes, fix, fixes. And in this one, if we have, if we have the verbs ending in Y with a consonant, we change it to I, E, S. Study, studies, carry, carries, fly, flies okay so we need to be very careful and if it's not in any of these rules only the s si no cae en ninguna de estas reglas que les estoy dando aquí chiquititas vamos a hacer el cambio solo agregándole la letra s okay como lo trabajamos you say examples i we you and they i like cheese they don't like cheese he, she, or it, he likes cheese. She likes cheese. It likes cheese. For the negatives, he doesn't like cheese. She doesn't like cheese or it doesn't like cheese. This is the form that we use for the affirmatives and for the negatives. As you can see, we change for he, she, and it. Okay, aquí no podemos decir he like cheese. Decimos he likes cheese. Porque estamos hablando de él en una tercera persona singular. Solo se cambian las afirmativas porque las negativas llevan doesn't. Y si ya pusieron doesn't como el auxiliar, el verbo vuelve a su forma normal. Okay, aquí se fijan que ya usamos doesn't y el verbo es like. No podemos decir he doesn't likes porque sería incorrecto, ¿ok? Esa es una regla que nos metemos ahí, metámosla bien en, en, en la cabeza, porque nos vamos a recordar más adelante cuando lo ocupemos en los ejercicios. Si ya usamos el auxiliar doesn't, o en la pregunta does, el verbo es normal, ¿ok? We don't change it. We change it only in affirmative sentences, ¿ok? ¿En cuál forma vamos a cambiar el verbo? Forma afirmativa. Exactly like that. Si ya pusimos un auxiliar das, ¿qué pasa con el verbo? Es normal. No se, no va, se va a quedar. No se va a cambiar. Exactly like that. Right. Uh -huh. So, if I have an example, I am going to write one example here. ¿Está correcto o incorrecto? Incorrecto. incorrecto. What is the incorrect. correct form? 
He cooks dinner. He dinner. cooks dinner. But no, nunca lo hace. Make it negative. Yo sí. <laughs> it's just an example. Make it negative. He doesn't cook dinner. He doesn't cook dinner, right? He doesn't cook sí. dinner. Okay. Y si me quisieran hacer una pregunta. Does, no, he, does, he, cook does he cook dinner? Does he cook dinner? Right? Does, does. Does he cook dinner? Does he. Excellent. Does and he. And does? Does. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it was on the, on, the, on the other line, right? And here we have easy sentences, right? You say, he cooks dinner, he doesn't cook dinner. Does he cook dinner? Okay. Let's do one before we go to bed. Antes de que los mande a acostar, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Aquí. I am going to make it here. Let's make one example with study. She is to this mathematica. She is studies math. She is she studies. She studies math. Math. Negative. She doesn't. She doesn't study math. She doesn't study. Okay, she doesn't study math. She studies English. <laughs> right? She doesn't study math. She studies English. What is the question? Does Do she study? Does she study? Study math. Math? math. Very math. Good. And no. we're going to say no. No. She no. no, she is study. No, she, she studies. Is studies English. Studies English. No, she studies English. Exactly as my students, because you are going to go and practice this one for tomorrow. So please, for tomorrow, I am going to ask you to investigate a little bit about the use of simple present. Okay? Aquí les dejo, les voy a enviar en el chat el tema que vamos a estudiar para mañana. The use of simple present, third person. Okay? So we can create more examples. That's all for today, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow at the same time. Good night. In the Good night. Bye-bye, my Good night, dear teacher. students. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night.